Every spring, the wild geese fly to the north, and beneath their wings, the world looks like Legoland. Down there lies Skane, the home of the Swedish boy Nils Holgersson, and also Martin, the largest and most prideful gander far and wide. You'd better watch out. That's Smiri the fox, a dangerous robber. Nils's mother and father are off to church. Do your homework. We shall test you in everything when we get back. Leave the animals alone and don't you touch my gun. Hooray! Now I must stay in the house. Bang! Bang! Follow me, you can't. The tabby cat stopped playing with the mouse and welcomed her master joyfully. And instead of stroking the cat, Nils threw it aside. Away with you! Leave that book alone! Bang, bang, get gone! Back home, Nils sighed. Oh dear, my schoolwork. A flight of wild geese is moving across the sky, calling out to their local sisters. Hello, you homebodies. We are flying to Lapland to find some green corn. Come, join us. We are making for the mountains. We are making for the mountains. are sailing in the skies. Suddenly, a mannequin appears beside Nils and gives him a strict lecture. Get up, my boy. You'll never do any real studying like this. That's none of your business. Who are you, anyway? A mannequin. I safeguard your house, cattle and poultry. I have to check on you, too. You neglect your studies and don't treat animals as you should. Gotcha! I'll show you what for, preaching to me. I had to give you a rebuke. Let me go, Nils. <laughs> what will you give me if I let you go? I'm not in the habit of letting anyone buy me off, but I could give you a silver spoon and a coin. Right. I like the sound of that. And another thing. Use your magic to put my schoolwork into my head. No, that would be dishonest. So, I shan't let you go. How come I'm so small? 
Mannequin, dear mannequin, come back, please. I'll be good, begged Nils. The geese are grazing in the yard. Mm, delicious grass, delicious, delicious. Suddenly, Nils realized that he could understand animal language. What a terrible wild animal. Oh, it's, it's my tabby. I'll let you go, but only for your mother's sake. She gives me such good milk. Tabby, dear, please tell me where to find the mannequin. I shan't tell you. You deserve some punishment. You'll be a dwarf forever. What a change that was for Nils Holgersen. He was in quite a different world. Maytime star, tell me where to find the mannequin. Nils began to comprehend what it is like to be small and helpless. Ah, here comes Smiri the fox again. The wild geese didn't notice him. They're calling out to the local geese. We're flying to the mountains. Come and join us. Wait, we'll fly with you. No, Martin, you mustn't. What would my mother say? He wouldn't fly. When Nils looked down, they were so high that the ground beneath them had changed into a stretch of checked fabric. And so Nils Holgersen flew away from Skane with the wild geese. Will he fly all the way to Lapland? <laughs> 